Hello everyone, we are at Reno, Nirvana, and I am with uh, Zach uh, from Autaki, a new RV expedition builder. Um, and we are checking out this ambulance camper for the first time. Uh, it's up for sale. So talk to Zach directly. Uh, he's going to uh, tell you the Instagram handle. Uh, we have just been inside. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is my first ambulance camper that I came across and been inside. Set the bar very, very high. Zach, I'll let you take it away. Hi, my name is Zach. We're here in Reno. I've spent the last eight months building this rig. If you want to check it out, you can go on our Instagram handle. It's Autarky, which is A-U-T-A-R-K-Y, E-V, and that's our handle, Autarky E-V. And you can check out a link to the for sale ad and also find a video on our YouTube channel that gives a full tour as well. So. Can you zoom into this little yeah, this logo? Yes, there we go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There's Autarky. All right. So let's check it out. Love this uh, gray, dark gray color. Really growing on me. So we have the whole vehicle custom painted in Vesuvius Gray. It was originally an ambulance. It's hard to tell now, but we, uh, we pretty much stripped it from the frame up. Got rid of everything that made it an ambulance originally and completely re-engineered it into an overland camper. All right, so let's get inside and check it out. And big tires all around, huh? We got 41-inch Continental MPTs. Uh, bulletproof engine too, right? Heavy duty, bulletproof diesel, six liter engine. And this door, I'm telling you, it's no less than a vault in the bank. It's like <laughs> a tank bill. And it could really take some hit. <laughs> All right, so let's go in. Whoa! Right. Oh, it's, wow. It's nice, right? This is I don't know. Nice I don't know where. Like... I don't know where we start. It's just yeah. uh, maybe Zach, you can take this away. Yeah, so you got the the bed unit back here. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's folded up for storage for driving. You can slide it out. And this is kind of couch mode right here. See? Whoa! This, so you can use it as a couch. You can four, four people up here easily, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Still this this there. reminds me of those like very luxurious like outdoor, you know, picnic area can where people it? can yeah, yeah, lounge <laughs> and read. Oh my god. So it's all uh, a marine quality vinyl. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to wipe down and clean. It's very nice oh. up here. We got the okay. full color change lighting up above. So you can go See? to any Ooh. party. Just like this cold car. Let's go party truck. Yeah. If you change the cover, you can match it, the lighting, with for whatever theme you have going on. And then, and of course, this could come out all the way too. And then it can come out all the yes. way. It drops down into a, a nearly king size bed. Ooh, That's wow. crazy. <laughs> right behind all of our cushions, we have extra storage, all push lock latches. Wow. Get all your clothes. High grade latches, by the way. Very, very solid. We also have it below. Whoa! That's, that's on both seats. I love this flooring and how it matches with the, right. the table, too. It's a very easy to clean marine vinyl flooring. It doesn't stain. You could pour wine on it and wipe it right up. Oh. Kitchen unit, all the same push lock latches. You got a ton Whoa. of room under the sink still. Yeah. Very yeah, nice. This is very impressive. These are push, twist, push and twist latches. Mm -hmm. and they're all on slow close hardware. Oh, oh I that's love Eric's it. favorite like feature yeah, of all the like drawers, cabinets. Big upper storage. The storage down here goes all the way to the rear wall, so it's super deep. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wow. Induction cooktop, powered off the inverter, 3000 watt inverter. All the control units are over here. You control your water pump, you can see your battery levels, your inverter condition. You got another 120 volt plug over here. Isotherm fridge with a little mini freezer in the top. This runs off 12 volt, only takes a few watts to run. 
We got the full shower stall over here. This is my favorite feature. Like I love having this sort of path through showers, great use of space. Plus, it acts as a sort of air barrier, right? You know, so yeah, so we have keep it warm. You got two shower doors that you can close off. It obviously stops the water from getting out of the shower, but it also serves as a little thermal barrier for when at night. You got a big air pocket there to help with insulation to stop the cab from creeping in. That's a very smart design. And right after the shower, you can check out yourself in the mirror real fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and this. Um, uh, you know? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can keep the smells a little in check here. And there's a vent fan above you too, so you can suck it right out. So you almost right. get smell. Yeah. <laughs> we got a big Dometic skylight. Whoa. And get some fresh air. Whoa. This is sick. There, which is cool. And then... That's so sick. You have a bug screen. Ooh. And then you also have a nightshade. You could shut up. Nice. Oh, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, it gets dark. Right. Yeah. yeah, it works. Oh, plus one thing I'm super impressed, other than this, is all this is starboard construction for the shower. And this component are all marine get gray and very, very, I'm not going to do this to get myself yeah. wet, but <laughs> these are all very high quality. This, uh, the shower, Ooh. the sink also has a shower spray on it. Wow. This has a tenth of the hose, so if you want to take it all the way outside, you yeah, can. Yeah, right? And you can do an outdoor window. shower as well. I love the look of the sink. And we were just playing around with this. It was very good water pleasure. We have mm -hmm. hydronic heat, and so... We, uh, we've just been driving for about 10 minutes and the water is already warm. Mm -hmm. and you almost always have hot water, just from a short drive. Wow. So free hot water. So I keep steaming. Yeah. No <laughs> way. Yeah, no use of the solar system or electricity for, to heat your water. And the, let me quickly show the club to yeah. crawl through space. Yeah. It is actually really quite easy to just kind of go in from the driving to to the living, very super easy. Yeah, it's got a nice size pass there. Should we do a quick check out of the outdoor sure. of like, yeah, we can like the little things and then we can- All the pass throughs and all the little- rest, We can wrap it up. What, one, thing I, one thing I really like is how wide it is. Uh, instead of like other, other, some other campers, you could feel a little bit slightly claustrophobic because of the width. This ambulance is around like 94, five inch thick, which really gives it a sort of more square format that you can find in most of the camper. Just starting around the outside. Our power system is mounted here in the rear. The batteries have their own locking store com compartment. We have all lithium batteries, and it's all wrapped in an insulated material starboard here um, helps keep the batteries warm it also the air from the heater passes through into vents to also keep the batteries warm when you have the heater on it's uh, 300 amp hours of uh, lithium battleborne batteries here made in Reno Nevada Wow. Furion 30 amp input charge extra storage big tall storage bay you fit your camp chairs in there table beautiful one thing about the ambulance is they come with all these like nice exterior storage, which they're all could be really very secure, lasting storage. Yes. At the back here, we got our emergency traction boards, extra four gallons of fuel on a roto pack. We have a tow hitch with a lifting bumper to support the hitch coming in. We have a full size spare tire stored in the back. You can see our 8020 aluminum framework. That's what holds the bed up. Wow. Our solar system's all tucked in back here. Yeah. Our inverter, all of our house breakers and wiring and circuitry is all back in the corner. Very secure and easy to, to manage. You can easily fit like some kind of foldable bikes and whatnot here you fit too. Quite a bit it's of stuff here. And there's also room to pass through if you, if you, if you wanted to 
figure out some kind of weird storage option too. <laughs> right. Get some odd length or like a bicycle handle could fit in there easy and stuff. And these tires are 300 pounds each? No, no, they're about 180 pounds. 180, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not super difficult to get in and out. You can drop it down onto the bumper and roll it out. I, I may need a little bit of workout class before I can do that. So it's a good workout. If you're, if you're on the road and you haven't hit a gym in a while, you can just pull your tire in and out. <laughs> That's perfect. You got a hidden backup camera here. Cool. Oh, sleek. Black on black. Yeah. Can't even see it Hard until see. you mention. All right. I love all this handles finish. All the it's handles really growing and all the exterior trim was all finished in a bullet liner product. Um, not only did it get rid of the ambulance look, but it protected it and made it good for overland travel. Can't even scratch it. Can't scratch it. Another big storage compartment. This is also where the Airtronics D2 heater is stored. It's a diesel powered heater. Keeps the cabin warm very easily. It has its own separate two gallon fuel tank. We like to keep that isolated from the gas tank. Um, it gives you an emergency two gallons of fuel if you need it, if you're stuck off road. And Plus, if you are fueling like quote unquote dirty diesel, you can keep clean diesel here. That's very right. true too. Right? Yeah, definitely. And it's just another huge storage compartment. Wow. You can never fill this thing up. Right? <laughs> this is our gray, gray water storage tank. This is also the back of the kitchen. Um, it's a 30 gallon gray water storage. The shower and the kitchen sink are both coming into it. Shower comes in through a maciator pump. This is our fresh water tank. Here wow. we have 50 gallons of fresh water. Inside, so no worry about freezing, I, I no suppose, about right? Freezing. It's in an insulated aluminum box. The hydronic heat lines are passing through it and it heats up the, the water tank, which is right above it. The hot water will actually backflow through the cool lines mm. at night. So as long as you started the truck for a half hour and got hot water in the tank, this will never freeze, even that down to awesome. negative temperatures, as well as it's within the insulated, insulated home of the camper. So when you have the airtronic heater on, it also keeps it warm. Wow. 50 gallons, 11 gallons in the tank above. Little mini hand wash station. Wow. You want to wash your hands off? Yes. It's nice for when it gets muddy and you don't want to have to go in the camper. Yes. We have our fresh water in, up high and secure. It has its own heat latch. Nice. Nobody can fill up your tanks with something weird. Right. City water inlet. And what is the underneath it? This was a an original ambulance power port. It's oh. It's not being used anymore. Got it. Got it. And then you got a little roof rack there. Up above, we have a full aluminum rack. It's a very lightweight, but you could fit several hundred pounds of gear up above. Uh, Off-road lights. We have a 41 inch off-road strip up above. Baja Design S2 Pros up front. These are the Hello Rally Eyes, pencil beams, ARB front bull bar, winch bumper with a Smitty 17 and a 17,500 pound winch. Wow. If you ever get stuck. You probably will. I don't think you will, but yeah. just in case. Dana 60 front axle. Oh. A Dana 130 in the rear. It's a very heavy duty rear axle with a limited slip differential. And all upgraded Jeez. suspension all around. All upgraded suspension all around. Designed to, trash. to be uh, to be beaten up off road all day long. Yes, yes. And, and not break. Yeah. And you have spent some time in this rig, right? Yeah, we've traveled extensively. We've uh, we've taken it off road quite a bit to test it out. Um, after we build our rigs, we always take them on a, a, a about a 2,000 mile trip to shake down everything and see if there's anything that needs adjustment or needs to be fixed before we hand it off to the next seller. All right, so this is ready to go. So this one has been adjusted, fixed, and it is ready to go. Um, it's ready to hit the road. It is turnkey. All right, well, thank you so much, Zach, for bringing this, uh, you know, for checking us out. and uh, and. This is available immediately, right? It's available immediately. If you go on Expedition Portal, you can find a link to get in contact with me, or you can get on Instagram and find us at Autarky EV. That's our Instagram handle. There's also a link to the for sale ad there. So if you're interested, give us a call. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you the next time. First ambulance. Very, very cool stuff.